Ruth here, and this, I have no idea what's in it. Well, I know what's in, in it, but not specific contents. Anyway, this is like, I guess, the mystery box. Um, my brother, uh, just suddenly messaged me at a very late hour, a couple days ago, and saying that his friend had a, uh, a, uh, just a box of this Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, as you see, and for ten pounds. So, I'm picking all this as Yu-Gi-Oh! For the looks of it. Oh, I see something shiny. Um, and these are Pokemon. I have no idea what's in this. Maybe magic? I have no idea. Anyway, um, let's, and I just thought, you know, just for, for ten, and I thought I might as well just, you know. So, Let's go through this, shall we? Seems we got some empty sleeves. That's always nice. Ooh. We have a Japanese Moltres. Sweet. Okay. Um, yes. A couple of various empty gold sleeves. This is an official rule book for Europe. This is a, uh, that looks like a very old one. Nice. 1996. I don't think it's that old, but it doesn't have like which version it is, so it could be one of the first versions. No clue. Ooh. Um, got a couple of them in here, but, um, uh, Chupa Chaps. Okay, that's just weird. <laughs> okay. The rest of those are empty. I think it's mainly Japanese cards in here. Cool. And there's a couple of uh, Neo something. All those as well. Um, in here, is it magic? Yes, it is magic. Right. No idea what to do with that, but um, I'll uh, show you what's inside. Obviously. Okay, since we started with Pokemon, might as well continue on. So, okay, we've got a Skarmory. has something else inside. Well, this is a Steelix. And an Onyx. But it's a Steelix Hollow. I guess because it does evolve from Onyx. So maybe that's why you put it in the sleeve like that. So my guess this one, yeah. We've got a Scyther and a uh, hollow uh, scissor. We've got a Sabrina's gold duck by the looks of it. These are in pretty good condition though, look at it. Got a polywag, a uh, or something, Sent yeah, that thing. We've got hollow Moltres, as I said before. Then oh, we've got a hollow Articuno. That's in English. For a change. That's a fossil. Pretty scratched up, but still very nice. I can't remember if I have that or not. I don't think so. So, yes, and we've got a hollow. Let's see, that's the only card in there, yep. Hollow Venusaur, or Erica's Venusaur, by the looks of it. Nice, nice. Good old. 
for C. Pupitar, I think. A sun thingy, sunflower, I think. Got Brock's Graveler. Very nice condition. Another one of these things, Ladybug, and a Larvitar. Then we've got Gloom and Kabuto. Really? It's been a while. Ooh, we've got something to do with Giovanni. I have no idea what that card is, but that's awesome. We've got a uh, quite a banged up uh, Sabrina's Alexam, I think, and it is hollow. That's pretty cool. Ooh, we got a uh, Sabrina trainer card. Very good condition that one. Ooh, we have a Misty's Gyarados. How about that? Some berry of some sort, and I think that's an amber. Got a hollow for alligator. Ooh, we've got a Blaine trainer card. Ooh, we've got an English, pretty good condition. Not very many banged up much, and slightly on the corner. But here's a dark Charizard. Maybe slightly something at the very top, but that's sweet. Awesome. You got a uh, Mercury, I think. Zatu. Natu. How do you do? Uh, Mareep. Alakid. Glyscor, I think. No. Metapod. Weedle. Chikorita. Gyarados. Ooh, we got a D unknown. Dark. Dark defense, is it? Because that's a DF at the bottom there. But anyway, ooh, we've got an E. Engage. That's what it says on the bottom. Luckily, these unknowns are in the actual alphabet, English alphabet, so I can see what it is. Ooh, we got an F for uh, find. I for in. Let's see. Increase. By the looks of it. Ooh, we got an M for metal DF. That's cool. We got an M for a uh, normal DF. We got an O for a O B S E R. G. No, that's V, maybe. For observe? Possibly. And here is a U for undo. You know what? I just noticed it actually says it in English on the side. Right there. Oh well. I worked out some and that's awesome. I've got let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is that was that eight? Eight of the alphabet out of the twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight unknown. That's awesome. Totally awesome. And
lastly, we have the two Espeon and Umbreon with the Eevee. So that's set. That three ancient like set. That's cool. And they are in pretty good tip top shape by the looks of it. Except for a tiny ding, possibly. But other than that, it is awesome. So let me just Right there for a second. I'm, I'm still happy that I actually scored a Misty's Gyarados Hollow from Gym Heroes, is it? That, that's, I think, awesome. So I'll probably keep the hollows anyway. Who oh, knows? Okay, so I have quite a few good uh, free gold sleeves. Weird, funny thing. Does anybody want it? I might throw it in with a giveaway of some sort. Okay, so. This says Magic the Gathering Core Set Speed. Scorch deck. I have never collected any magic whatsoever. Contents. Ready to play 40 card deck, 40 card theme deck, and a customized strategy insert. Rule book not included. Wizards of the Coast. So that is what it looks like. There's the Speed Scorch deck thing. Follow through that and check. Battery died on me, sorry.
a non hollow version of that. And we end on a spiky ball. Alright. So not bad, not bad. Did find a few nice cards in there though. Um so basically only really one leg of Exodia. <laughs> but uh yes, these are the rares. I'm kind of, yeah, super rare, super rare, three super rares, right, so I think I'm going to listen through these again just to make sure, but I'll be putting them up on my eBay, or you can buy it from my Instagram, because I can be slightly cheaper on Instagram because I don't include fees that eBay will take. But anyway, yes, so thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Ring the door for notifications. Over and out.